Hey, Scruppy. How you doing? <clears throat> so, Scruffy threw up today at lunch. So he's not having a great day. It's a little different this time, so... I want to watch it carefully. <clears throat> but I also don't want to overreact. Because Scruffy throws up a lot. And I think actually this is definitely for the lunches. This is the longest we've ever gone, I think, without him throwing up. <clears throat> I think it's been over a month. Maybe almost two months, I'm not sure. But it's been a while, so I think <clears throat> what we've been doing is kind of working. I should just expect him to throw up every now and then. But I'll talk about the vomit in a moment. But there is something a little bit different, but it might just be because of <clears throat> what I'm doing. Script still a little spooked, but. Going to be uh, a little extra patient or scruffy tonight since he threw up. Be extra accommodating tonight. <clears throat> so, yeah, lunch. The difference today was that he, I put extra water, like I've been doing, in his uh, lunch kibble. And uh, I've been doing that because it seems to slow him down from scarf and barfing. And I've been putting more water in it, I think since the last time he barfed, which you know, was a month and a half ago wish. So I think it's yeah, been working. <clears throat> because he hasn't been throwing up. And his lunches also take a lot longer, so he used to be out of here in roughly, what, six minutes? And now it's more like 12 minutes. So it takes him twice as long to eat now, but uh, that's okay. But yeah, it's kind of the goal to not give him to scarf and barf. Scruffy's doing okay right now. <clears throat> but anyway, so Scruffy today it is well he so what he does with the water is he first laps up the water, so he drinks basically the water first, and then he starts going for the kibble. So he lapped up all the water and he had just started eating the kibble. And then he threw up but since he didn't really eat any kibble, he mostly threw up water with just a, a few kibble bits because he really didn't eat much kibble. So I say it's a little different because usually I think what happens is you know, he scarfs and barfs and I assume that he's clogging up his esophagus with uh, kibble and then he needs to cough it up. But since this was mostly water, it seems like it might be a little different this time. Although there was a little bit of kibble in there, so maybe I just went down the wrong pipe or something and started coughing it up. <clears throat> but yeah, I just... Oops, I tripped over the brush. But yeah, just to be a little... Uh, do a little more research on it, I did look up uh, cats vomiting from drinking water and then throwing it up. So it's different, there's a, if you, you depending on what your search terms are, there's a bunch of hits about uh, cats vomiting clear liquid. Uh, that's different from what happened today. Because uh, uh, Scruffy clearly threw up the water that he just drank. And that's different from the 
cats throwing up uh, their stomach fluids. <clears throat> so from what I read about this water problem, which is much less, it's much more rare, so it doesn't happen, I think, that often. It's probably because I don't think cats drink that much water. Uh, so normally cats, they get their moisture requirements from the food that they eat. But since uh, I've been giving Scruffy dry kibble at lunch and I'm trying to slow him down, I you know, water the kibble, give him some extra liquid, and then since it's summer right now, I figured you know, he could probably use some extra water anyway. So anyway, what I read was that, yeah, cats can drink too much water, which I guess gets backed up in their stomach and then can cause them to uh, throw up. And so, <clears throat> I probably should be a little more cautious about how much water I put into his kibble in the future. So, I gotta find a happy balance between uh, not enough where he then scarf and barfs the kibble, or too much where he'll throw up the water. So, it's always something with Scruffy. But, um, anyway, so I think that's where we are now. I'm trying not to panic. I think it's, I think we're actually still in a better place than you know, him throwing up all the time from scarf and barfing. So I think this is probably just a um, consequence of me putting too much water in his kibble. But I'm going to keep a close eye on it the uh, next few days, make sure. And tonight when he eats his food, make sure, yeah, there's nothing else going on. So the weather was hotter today, so I was wondering if the heat was affecting Scruffy. Although it wasn't actually that bad today, it, like the last few times it's gotten hot it was a lot worse. So this was fairly mild, it was just kind of that, on that borderline of getting uncomfortably hot, but yeah, the borderline of manageable versus unmanageable. <clears throat> but uh, at lunch, it wasn't that quite that hot yet, so we weren't quite there yet. Uh, later this afternoon, it, yeah, it got warmer and hotter. But uh, at lunchtime, yeah, it was still still manageable. Had had not you know, gotten all the way up yet. But I did notice, yeah, Scruffy seemed lethargic when I came out to greet him. He was lying on the near the chair. Didn't want to come over. But I've been kind of figuring that, yeah, feeding him at lunchtime is probably not his ideal time because he'd probably rather be sleeping. I think that's why he originally gave up on lunch a long time ago when I first started feeding him. I think he doesn't like that time of day. Um, from what I read is, yeah, the cats are most active right around uh, sunrise and right around sunset, so the, the transition periods of the day and night. So so right now is a good time because the sun's setting, so Scruffy's up and aware, but I should get up before sunset ideally to feed him at the time he wants to be fed, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen, <laughs> so he has to, if he wants lunch he has to deal with my schedule, but um, if you go back you know, to our first year, he kind of just, yeah, stopped coming for the food at lunchtime. Just said, nah, screw it. I'm not interested. So, I, for a while, I was thinking, yeah, he's not a, not a lunch guy. And then I only started feeding him again uh, this last year because, uh, uh, yeah, he uh, was limping on his uh, leg. I was worried he wasn't going to get enough uh, food from hunting, so I started feeding him a extra, including at lunch. And then after he healed, he didn't really have the heart to stop feeding him because he seemed to actually still like it. So I just continued feeding him lunch again. So we're back to the lunch schedule, but I don't I don't actually feed him as much as I originally did. Uh, for lunch uh, back when I first started, so 
that probably contributes because that's probably overfeeding him when we first started. And so he wasn't hungry at lunch. Now he's just maybe a little bit hungry. And uh, today, you know, days like today, maybe he can pass if his stomach's not feeling well. We can get Scruffy's food now. It's pretty calm. Seems like the pets. I think he's doing well. So I'll keep an eye on him for how he eats his dinner tonight. Okay. And I'm gonna use the brush. Okay, it seems to be pushing into it, so that's good. I won't push too hard on the needing the brush tonight, so it's going to be more accommodating tonight. Okay, I'm done. So anyway, yeah, switch over to lunch. Hey, Scruffy. We're way over there. Okay, I guess I'm gonna come out to you. It's getting warmer today, huh? Just gonna take it easy. It's already feeling pretty warm right now. Wow, you're already pretty far away. You're, you're going further back. Okay. How you doing? So it's not that hot yet. But yeah, it's probably gonna get there. Okay, there are the meows. Just waking up. Okay, take your food.
That's dinner is baby pet tape with real ocean whitefish, kibble, and rotisserie chicken scraps. And I put a little bit of extra wheat in there just in case since he threw up today. Remove the balls. So after Scruffy threw up, he didn't immediately come back for the food bowl. So I went inside to see if he would uh, eat without me around. And I watched him reapproach the food bowl and the water bowl. He took some drinks of water, but he actually didn't eat the food. And so then he walked away. I stopped filming and I came back out to inspect the vomit to make sure there was nothing uh, make sure I, I didn't miss something in the vomit that might be a, a clue to what's going on. There, yeah, there wasn't really anything in there. It's just water and a couple pieces of kibble. And he threw up, I think, in four spots. So. But I saw him hiding under the big table. Looked like he just wanted to get away from me and rest. So I 
left the, the food bowl out for him, and it looks like later this afternoon he came back for it. Because the kibble is gone now. And it looks like the water bowl is lower too, so it looks like we drank a bunch of water, probably to make up for everything we threw up. And it was, yeah, kind of hot today, so. Okay, uh, Scruffy ate most of the food. It's, it's one blob of pate and one piece of kibble. That's actually pretty good. Scruffy's been leaving a lot of extra food the past couple weeks. It was, this is actually pretty close to a clean bowl for him. Sometimes, yeah, he's not very good about getting the last bits. So, I'll, I'll call this a clean bowl tonight. So anyway, I guess that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.